Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out the Generalist again here today. It's been a little bit since I played them, but I think that they are quite good. You know, they don't have that much of a downside, really, and I don't have a strong plan aside from I know I want to start with Ghost Axe and maybe keep Ghost Axe for my three melee weapons. That's the thing that I'm curious about here. We're going to have really good flat damage already, so Ghost Axe will help us get percentage damage. And then we're going to take a ranged weapon, you know, with it, because we, we have to. I don't know what we're going to take for that yet, but we'll figure it out. Uh, basically, whatever we find, like if I could get a, I don't know, like a rocket launcher or an obliterator or something like that, that'd be a lot of fun. Or a sniper rifle. I don't know. That'd be very fun. But we will see. Danger level 5, that is what we're going to be going here. Uh, you know, a thank you to, I'm not quite doing the, uh, the suggestion entirely, but a thank you to Kasai for a similar, uh, sort of suggestion here in the comments, helping out, uh, with that. So, we're gonna be just trying to get as many freaking Ghost Axe kills as we can early, uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do after. Uh, Flat Melee sounds good. SMG is, like, obviously a way we can go. I'm just afraid if I take it, it's going to steal too many of my um, melee kills. So, let's wait. Let's say yes, but I will wait a bit. How about that? That's the, that's the plan. So, I think that we might want to combine Ghost Axes early here. That's another reason why I think it's actually kind of decent on this character. Because, you know, you can't really get the full stacks on uh, on three weapons anyways. It's a little bit tricky due to the fact that they're all going to be splitting. And uh, there's no guarantee that you're even going to get one stack from any of the weapons. Like... I'm trying really hard here to get... Okay, woo, we got one right at the end. We got one right at the exact end. Some attack speed sounds great. Uh, pistol sounds fine, but like, yeah, holy moly, we are not... I don't gotta lie here. Okay, I'll go for two blues instead. It is every 18 kills we get uh, a little bit of whoop, a damage percentage up. Two should be okay. I would think, I would think. But yeah, I feel like the ethereal weapons in general are just better than they used to be since that last patch. They were already pretty darn good. And now they are just, just straight up better. There's more enemies and thus more potential for them to get that scaling going, popping off. I'll take the melee damage. I'll take some percentage damage. Taser's an interesting call. It's not quite uh, logical with this build because it's one of the only things that doesn't scale uh, with what we've got. Same thing there. Sacred sausage. Oh my god. What is happening? This stuff is trash and we thought we get another axe. Sure. Sure. Ghost axe means... All right, fine. I'll take a couple more enemies. 5% more enemies means, theoretically, 5% more damage up over the course of the run. Not 5% damage up. Maybe more. Maybe less. I don't really know. I've not done the math, and uh, I do not plan to. But we're starting off strong, and the cool thing about this, what I kind of like about this character, is it forces me to play you know, a different way than I normally do, because I like to go for all of the same weapon, obviously. I think it's really fun to limit test a weapon that way. Eh, sure. I'll go negative luck. Whatever. But I don't think it should be the only way to play. Uh, boy, oh boy. Okay. I will... I think I'll lock the SMG now, finally. We have, uh, five flat range damage already, which is nice. Not ridiculous. SMG has, um, what is it? 50% scaling. I don't know if it gets higher as it goes up. I, I can't remember what Blobfish did to it. But yeah, we're at a spot where having three Ghost Axes is A-OK. -okay. There's plenty of enemies for us to be hitting. And thus plenty of stacks and stats for us to get. Oh my god. But yeah, I will pivot uh, SMG to like a minigun or something in a heartbeat. Like, in fact... 
thinking about it now, that would sort of be the, uh, maybe the ideal. I'll take some attack speed, definitely take a little bit of armor. Uh, sure. Another ghost axe. I guess I'll take lumberjack shirt too. But yeah, there we go. SMG, it should be doing a little bit more. Do it seven instead of three. Yeah. That's not bad. And here's the thing. It shouldn't steal too many kills. And as I always say with the ghost axe situations, like if you have enemies left on the field uh, at all times, guess what? It's okay that you have another weapon stealing, quote unquote, from ghost axe. Because there's always going to be stuff on the field. Will you lose a few stacks? Sure. But there's all, you can see right here, there's always something for us to hit. I'm risking it a bit, trying to get some greedy melee kills in. All right, we're getting a good amount of damage percentage here. I think this is going to be a really good run. I'll take another gentle alien, but honestly, I think we're starting to push it a little bit too much. Speed. Yes. I'll take the SMG. I'm a little bit hesitant about... Oh, I'm a little bit hesitant about that there. Taking so many, though. That was not the plan. I kind of wanted to get all my ghost axes first. But again, just get the hell in there. Melee. We're going to always be trying to get into melee range of enemies. Here's the thing, though. I am really strong. I'm like really strong for right now. Wow. Generalist is nasty. Absolutely nasty. And we are getting those stacks, despite the fact that all these SMGs are sort of stealing a bit more than I'd like. Okay. It's okay if we get those spawns. We got 10 seconds left. Just focus on getting all of these free, delicious snack stats. Alright, not bad. Sure. Sure. We already have this. We already have scaling, but whatever. Uh, can only have three and three, so I literally can't. Range damage minus range. Sure. Piercing. I don't have any, but I probably will get some. Oh, I thought I'd get that too. Oh well. That's a uh, hedgehog is so good on this character. Oh my god. It's balling out of freaking control, man. I'm so glad we're getting more enemy spawns. We're going to need them if we want literally any axe kills at this point. Like, we've made these SMGs so strong already. I was not planning on, like... Oh, no. Suffering from success. Absolutely here. I am doing too good of a job at killing things that my axes can't kill things. This is never a good way for this, so, like, you know, tis what tis there. I may combine uh, some SMGs going into this next wave here, because I think we're going to be fine regardless, and that should mean that more of my kills come from my axes. I think that'll be better for us. Alright. I'm not going to say no, but I will only have two. I think... Do I think that this is good for, like, amount of kills? No, but I do think, um, for scaling purposes, this will be better on this wave. Oh my god. Oh, it's a massacre. This is one way to do it, huh? Purposefully missing with my SMG so I can hit them with the side of my axe? This is next level stupid. It's next level stupid, but it works. It's working. Side of the X. Side of the X. Okay. Alright. Side of the X. All right, and then whenever I'm in danger, I gotta let it. I gotta let it fly. 
I think that was a relatively, uh, sure. Life steal is gonna 100% be the way out of that, out of this anyways. This is good, but it's just too early. Okay. Still two uh, SMGs at this point. I thought I would maybe find one, but hey. Again, not too worried about it. We're already doing 24 damage, which for the SMGs is really, really good. You know what I want? I want, uh, in a weird way, I want Alien Baby to uh, speed up the enemies so that they can be more likely to get hit by the melee than the range. That actually would be pretty good. But, hey, I think it's all right. I think it's all right. We're, we're still scaling silly. I don't know. Like, I've always thought that the obvious starting weapon clearly had to be the Cactus Club for this character. But now I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Cactus Club is so bad that you shouldn't even take it on the Generalist, the character that it seems made for. God, by comparison to this, I'm going to say no to that garbage. Uh, uh, by comparison to this. Uh, oh, sad. I'm going to say no. I kind of wanted the SMG, but hey. Oh, well. All right, that's a lot of damage we should be able to um, kill here. Let's focus on the eggs first. And then as soon as they stop spawning eggs right here, then we'll focus on them a little bit more. I hate that they do that, though. That's really annoying. The, the fact that the spread happens like that, it absolutely ruins melee builds potential to, uh, to focus them down. And now he's running like crazy, so it's just like, I don't know, man. This is, I sort of feel like this elite shouldn't sh be able to show up first. Maybe I'm crazy. But this feels a little stupid for this early, doesn't it? Like, this build is broken. Why is this happening? Like, why could I not kill the elite? I don't think that the, this one should spawn first. I don't know. That's so weird. Really, really strange. All right. Sure. Uh, small magazine. I could. I mean, it helps my melee damage as well. Sure. I guess I was down a weapon still. Which is lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. I, I did not think that it would be this late and I'd still not have it but oh well there's the sniper gun scales off of 100% of um, range and 20% or 100% of uh, range damage and 20% of range I actually can't really do anything with this which is sort of weird so I guess I'll take the sniper gun. I mean, it's kind of what I was talking about. I, I don't know if it'll be better than the SMG. And in fact, I'm relatively confident it, it won't be. But yeah, I don't know. What a strange situation. I feel like this summon boss is not that... Like, they're not bad if you get them on um, the second or third opportunity for a mini boss. But getting them then, it's just way too many. And like... Maybe their, their spawns, uh, like, their active spawns that they cast scale with, um, what is it? Gentle Alien? Maybe that's the case? In which case, I don't think they should, because the wave already benefits from Gentle Alien. I don't think that those should, too. But I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Okay. Kill that thing. No! Sure. All right. 
well, now I kind of want to combine the SMG and see what we can do with that. Does this have piercing at a base? No. Five projectiles that deal 12 damage. Scaling off of our range. It does count as a gun. Sad day. All right. Let's see it in action. Ooh. Very slow. No surprise there. But, yeah, 1.5. Well, compared to even the axe, which is already really, really slow, and we have 52% uh, attack speed up. That's really slow. I think the SMG is just strictly better, but... Tell you what, if I if I get another sniper, I'll I'll give it a crack. It's kind of nice to have a variety here, but whatever happens, happens. If it shows up, it shows up. I can never like I can't have more than three. And even having three makes it a little bit more difficult to guarantee in the shop. But we are obviously going to be more likely to find one because of the way that the shops work. So maybe we'll be lucky. This way is. Catchy. Thank you. Hey. Sure. Sure. Well, <laughs> I realized what I did. I did ask for this, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Now, now I'm seeing the enemies run up in my face, like, very, very quickly, and I actually don't think I want it. Uh... Sure. Yeah. I wish we locked the other wings. Should probably get the lifesteal too, probably. 173. But yeah, they scale off of range. They do a flat amount themselves that's, like, alright. Range with the axes is going to be weird. Like, it kind of decreases their sort of attack speed, increases, but it also increases this AoE of them since they're sweeping weapons. I don't know. Strange run. The, here's the thing. I don't think that we're going to be getting um, full snipers, all three. I don't think it's just... I just don't think that's going to happen. Just looking at the, uh, the writing on the wall here. I'd have to sell some things, or maybe I'd combine my SMGs and hope. But that's even dumber today than a normal run since, you know, there's no guarantee we'll get a ranged weapon that we actually want. Like a ranged damage scaling weapon we want. Again, I really want that, but it's too early in my book. Okay, so how much damage does it do right now? 13 up to 19. That's pretty good. stuff. Horde wave. Okay. All right, axes. Do your thing. Get some free stats. Get some free stats. We got all them gentle aliens going wild. Love. Man. Yeah, only even having three. We're mowing them down. I mean, the attack speed is really, really helpful. Okay. Stats, 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 stats. Oh, my God. Oh! Can I just have a horde wave every time, please? without any kind of like piercing or ricochet on my uh on my smgs i can still get like some really good chops in uh yeah we should take that that's a silly amount of damage i know it's ranged down but it's fine 
hunting trophy. I have I have negative stats in that. I just don't think so. Eighty-four melee damage, forty-two range. The SMGs are doing seventy-nine. How much does this do? 229 it is so much better to just have the SMG. Like, it's not even close. The sniper rifle is trash by comparison. This one's doing 95. This build is so dumb. How much armor? Eight. We don't even have, like, bad armor right now. Considering ghost axe give us the, the minus three situation. Or minus... How much do we get minus stuff? We get negative armor because of ethereal weapons, but I just don't remember how much it is right now. Dumb freaking damage scaling. Dumb freaking damage scaling. The axes are chopping for like 200 something. Wow. Should be a pretty free win. I did say yesterday I was hoping for a free win run. I did think this was going to be strong. I didn't think this was going to be this strong. You know, this is fundamentally wild. Range down. I do think it's probably good to do, but like, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to do that. Eh. Counterintuitive to then take that. Sure. I mean, at this point, wave 17, we should probably pivot our, our melee weapons and we can just combine our axes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. I hate this guy. Okay. There we go. I mean, we kill like crazy when we can get a clear shot at him. It's getting a clear shot at him that was tricky. Okay. And that's what's kind of weird about the mini bosses. You know, you need to have the ability to rip through the waves in order to get to them. I feel like maybe instead of buffing the hell. I mean, here's the thing. It's a bit of a... It's a buff and a nerf to elite waves if they spawn less normal enemies. But I think that it's... I don't have it. Wait. Wait, I am going to have unique weapons. It's one of the only times I am going to have unique weapons. Ever. Ever. Uh, I'm going to say no to the ghost axe at this point. Dodge, we don't have very much. I could take that, but whatever. What? Rip and Tear doing stupid damage right now. Okay, so, so now we got a power fist. It doesn't have, like... It's barely going to work at all, but, like, it has a chance to explode. I feel like I have not seen the power fist actually hit a thing. That's just because our SMGs are doing so much work. And we only have two of them. I love the generalist, man. I love the generalist. This makes this all so free. I can't tell if the fist has ever gone. I just, I'm looking at it. I think it is. I think I just saw an explosion. Yeah. It is working, but it's just like, barely, man. Life steal, yes. No, I don't want less enemies. Yes, I'll take four. Upgrade there. Vigilante ring, it's, it's just too late. <laughs> I wouldn't mind swapping uh, a, a melee weapon at this point. 
would not mind that one bit. Yeah, we do amazing damage far away, and then we just we get up in their face, and then they disappear. Okay, and now Rip and Tear is doing so much damage, too. Scaling with our melee, even though we're killing with, uh, you know, SMG. A second Rip and Tear would be fantastic. I would go as far as to say this is maybe the best character for Rip and Tear now that I think about it. Because Rip and Tear is something you wish was happening at a range, but it scales on melee damage. So... I don't know, man. I think this is the Rip and Tear character. Little did I know. Oh, should have taken the range. That is not the melee weapon I would have wanted. Plank? Yeah, Plank. Such a good item. Oh my god. Stick is a little bit silly. I will happily take another power fist, but it does cause a little bit of weirdness. This attacks so much faster. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't even process. All right, screw everything else. How much is... Okay, so this does 368. This SMG does 126. Now it does 144. I didn't even process any, anything else there. All right. Lol. And quickest kill I think I've ever had. That's probably the quickest boss kill I've ever had. <laughs> okay. Uh, unmodded. Unmodded. Absurd. I don't know. That's where I'm just like, could we mod the game and make it broken? Sure. Well, you could just play the game normally and make it broken too. Look at this. Holy crap. This is just, this is just vanilla brotato. And we did that. We killed the boss with how many seconds left on the clock? I mean, geez. Alas, alas though. Uh, yeah, General is quickly becoming one of my favorite characters. Just the amount of variety that you can um, can do with this character. I, I'm so sad that it th I think that Cacti Club, I'm not going to say it's a trap, but it seems like it's not as good as... Um, I feel like you might have an easier time with Ghost Axe and then transitioning into a different build. Like, I actually think that might be the case, but Cacti Club... I think Cacti Club needs some love. Like, that's kind of what I've learned is, like, this is obviously a very good thing to have on this character, but even so, uh, that was so obviously amazing. Like, so easily strong without really that much hard work. Um, and that's just the truth. Like, I, I was able to, e evil, even able, evil, to take, uh, you know, survivability in there. It was really not that... Not that bad. Great run. Easy run, fun run. Uh, checks all the boxes for me. Loved it. But alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Well, I have you here. Uh, I hope you will consider checking out whatever other series I have going on on my channel here. I cover Roblox and more every single day, not just Brotato. Uh, if you like games like this and you want to find, you know, uh, new ones before a lot of other channels may cover them or they may never reach the light of day if you don't check out this channel uh do consider looking at the other stuff i have going on i have the let's try series where i try a new game every single day uh that is how i found brotato is through the let's try series so if you want to find more great things like this that's a good series to keep your eye on uh otherwise check out my other daily running series that i may have going on right now uh, if there if there is one, I'm not sure. Thanksgiving is going on, so we'll see. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!